calling you, but uh, I realize you're an agent, right? You, you don't have a house for sale by owner, do you? No. Because I saw a listing, it was a for sale by owner listing, and then it had your uh, phone number on it, so I don't know if maybe it was a mistake. Oh, so. Sold, yeah. Oh, so you you sold your house yourself by owner? Yeah. You didn't even list it with yourself. Uh, no. Holy cow! What what company are you with, Marsha? Uh, Which one? Rebo. Oh yeah, did we? Yeah, didn't we have this car? We taught, we spoke. You and I spoke like a couple months ago, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, now did you help me with one of my transactions? Did we do a closing together? Um, no, no, I don't think so. No? How's, uh, how's business for you right now? Uh, very good. Yeah? You getting a lot of listings? Uh, no, more buyers than this. Oh, do you focus more on the buyer side? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And how, how are you making out right now with the inventory? It seems like the inventory is really low. Are you able to find stuff for your buyers? Yeah, that's good. So how? So what's what's been your biggest challenge with with the business recently? Uh, well, the inventory is very limited right Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what? You, so how are you finding the buyer the properties for your for your buyer clients? Like, what do you guys do? Referrals. Do you do you guys do any like circle prospecting and stuff like that? Like if the buyer's looking in a certain area. Yeah, we do that. Too. Yeah. No, I think. No, I don't. I mean, I don't have your info in front of me. I know we spoke a couple months back, and I think I talked to you about some opportunities with our team. A week ago. Yeah. Holy cow! I really don't have my notes in front of me, right? Yeah. I'm. I think I'm getting old, man. I must be getting too old here, losing my memory here. <laughs> I just saw the number and then my phone's calling and I don't have it on me. One is one, that's why I called Hold on, let me, let me look at my notes. Where did, where did you and I leave it last time we spoke? Because uh, I know we're always looking to talk to talented people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can call me back. Alright, thank you. Recruiting call today, strikeout day. You don't often see the negatives, right? Everybody puts on the positives, but this is what it takes right here. Oh, here it is. Speak Spanish, friends with broker. You got a call to build a team. This guy's a stud. (coughs) Oh, I talked to her on January 4th. Are you calling for talent? That's, well, yeah, I called her earlier and she called me back. Who's that back there? Oh, are you recording this shit? <laughs> oh, we, we record everything. Dave, this everything is Dave. You guys are Dude, everything. D. Hill. This guy's an author. All right, let's talk. Let's call this one then. Let me call He's going to make a phone call. That one, that Get lady, his book. I talked to that lady. Sales playbook. I talked to that lady last week. She's part-time. She only does real estate a couple hours a week. I don't She's not even a good yeah. fit for yeah. us. This, we're, guy's, we're a, this for, guy's a lead general. We're looking for full-time... If you're out, agents that are going all in that want to make some money, watch this. Guys watch this. In Worcester and Westboro area, this yeah. guy. Let's see. This he is, trains. This is what we studs. need to do. We need to get this book. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Well, listen honestly, think about it. If you listen to his podcast, if you want to join, make sure you go on my profit share. Hello. Hi. Hi. Is this Taylor? Yep. Hey, Taylor. David Hill over at Keller Williams. Did I did I get you in a bad time? Okay. Awesome. Well, hey, listen, the reason I'm calling you is I, I study the numbers and I I see you did around maybe five to six million in volume last year. That That's awesome. Is that is that accurate? Yep, that is. Okay, good for you, man. And the re, I have um, a part of what's called expansion with KW and we have multiple locations and we're looking to partner up with people that, you know, know what they're doing, that do good volume and are interested in doubling or even tripling their, their, uh, their uh-huh. income. I guess- I guess I'll, uh, I'll stop you right there because um, you should probably look at the name of the company I work for and then look at my name. 
Okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not coming to work for another company. It's my Taylor, Taylor. Oh, is it your family's company? Yep. So uh, good for you, man. How long? How long have you been? No, that's fine. Hey, you know what? I'm always looking to get into relationships with people too, because I'm sure we can do some co-brokes in the future, right? Yeah, I'm sure we will. Yeah, absolutely. How long you been in real estate? Uh, let's see. Uh, I always sell under my entire life since room around it, but uh, yeah. actively selling now. This will be my eighth year. Good for I you, man. Cool. My ninth year. All right. Good to know, man. Well, hey, I um, I appreciate you know you taking a couple of minutes to talk to me. Anything I can do to bring value? All right, awesome, man. Well, do you know anybody else I should reach out to that might be looking for an opportunity? Um, I guess I'm not going to tell you any of the agents here. No. <laughs> but, uh, all right, yeah, no so, worries. all right, my friend. Well, hey, if you ever decide, I know, you know, it's funny. I, when I was a kid, I worked, my mother owned a publishing company. It was a, a magazine called New England Condominium. And um, yep. man, I, it was it was good for a while. Then I'm like, you know what? I just gotta I gotta get out of the family business. It was it was tough for me. So yeah. if that, I, I if, love the family business, do so you? I'm not going anywhere. I, yeah, I did too for a while. Well, if that ever changes, keep us in mind. We don't mind being second second option. All right. Sounds good. All right, man. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye bye. You're just a grind making those recruiting calls. The guy hustles. We're just gonna have to wait till that guy oh. gets in a fight with his. Brother is. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's good. I can't, hey, listen. You got to go listen. through the nose. This is a numbers death, game. Right? That's it. This is just a straight numbers game. Straight numbers I, mean, game. I, wish I, really I just saw her the other day, actually. I can't call them because they're with Keller Williams. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Barry. That's, oh, the Keller Williams. We're in here regenerating. Oh, you can't. Uh, who's this? Delia Group, Exit Realty Partners. Let's oh, call yeah. them. Do you know who that is? No, but they need to. They need to grow their business. You know, you're the guy to help them. I'm honestly having more fun with these conversations now. Uh, you have walked away. I put on speaker. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry about that. You can't. You're gonna answer. Can't we call? It's good that they're answering their phone, though. I mean, because in the afternoon, none of these guys were answering. Guys are stud. How many of these calls you make a day? A lot. Four. Yeah. Hi, you've reached Kim Delia of the Realty Delia Group. Can you give me your name and telephone number, and I will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Kim, it's David Hill over at Keller Williams. Hope all is well. When you have a couple of minutes, if you can give me a buzz back, my cell phone is 774 696 3656. Thank you. Bye bye. It's a very vague, random call, so she'll call back. Be like, dude, what do you need, buddy? I'll be like, this. <laughs> listen. All right, let's go. Let's just do this. Cause, uh, you ready for the interview? I got, yeah, and I got to go pick up my daughter from.